Now, I, I think you're right. I think there's going to be a, like you say, that euphoria, that whole, we can't wait to get out of our houses. It's spring, it's going to be summer, the weather's going to be nice. So everyone's thinking about sitting in the pub on the way home for a quick drink. Go on, so like, yeah, going out for lunch, all of those things that we have missed so much in the last 18 months. I think you're right. I think that there will suddenly be this whole, oh my God, what is the point? And I'm fed up with commuting every day. And I've got Stinky Steve and his haddock, you know, and, and I don't have that at home because I choose what I eat, you know, and, and what I smell and, and the people I'm around and all those things. And and I think there's that there is that bit of we're kind of we're prepared and aware that that will that it won't last potentially. And again, especially when the weather starts to get rubbish, when the nights start getting, you know, the days are getting shorter, it's darker in the morning, having to get out of bed at the moment when it's light at half past four is absolutely fine. When it's dark at half past seven, that's a lot harder, isn't it? And it's that bit of, I think, for employers making the understanding that they've got to be prepared for that. And not to assume that how it is now and because there is this desperate need for a lot of people to get back out and and be back to normal and have the life that we used to have you're absolutely right i think that will fade when people realize that sitting on the train every morning isn't that enjoyable unless businesses are prepared to be flexible about when people come into work how they come into work when they do their work all those things yeah the flexibility Helen and the the flexibility to adapt through the seasons even that yeah. just because I work four days in the office this week doesn't really mean I'm going to be in four days next week I mean uh, how rigid can an employer be with an employee about those kinds of things you know, like if I wake up in the morning and decide, actually, do you know what? I could really do with being in the office today. Yeah. But it's not my day because I've agreed I'll go in on a Wednesday. I suppose there's there's so many different combinations of how yeah. this might work. And in a way, we're adults. We can self-organize. And unfortunately, we tend to yeah. make rules and guidelines for the 5% of people or 10% of people who are non-compliant yeah. or the troublemakers or whatever, who are probably in the wrong place anyway. Yeah. But most of us, you extend us trust and we yeah. rise to that. And we want that. We want to see that we're trusted and we won't let you down. Yeah. So if if I don't come in the office for three weeks and I'm doing my work and then I come in three weeks in a row, does it really matter yeah. unless there is something specific that you need to see me to work with me on? Yeah. And yeah. I think if I'm an adult, I don't have any problem yeah. negotiating that either. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, you, you can look at the logistics of it and you you know if you keep your office if you've got a lot of employees and you say right well we can either downsize the office and half it but that means there has to be some not rules but some boundaries around how we use that space and if you suddenly decide that you do want to go into the office day actually you might need to ring and check whether there's space um but that's not to say that you couldn't arrange to meet somebody somewhere else if the office is full you know, I mean, lots of offices have been doing hot desking for years anyway. So people are used to that. It's not, or a lot of people are, I think it is those businesses that have got, and I get it, you know, if you've, if you've got an office of five people and it's your business, it's your money, and you've invested in that space and you've always had this thing with, um, you know, this image of what your business would look like and this image of this business would be these five people in this office all day do it and you could, you could see them and it's exciting and it's amazing because you built this. And I can understand that that's 
hard to shift. But actually, if you've got this office of these people, sitting down with them and talking about, okay, what have you learned about how you work best? What works really well? Is there one day a week that we can all come in? or one day a fortnight or whatever, where we can all be together because we do quite like each other. Um, you know, we can spend the time. And if we've got a new starter, because that will change the whole dynamic of that team, maybe at that time, if that's happening, we need to relook at what our expectations are of people. Because I do think that is going to be one of the big challenges people have moving forward is that how do you instill culture and values totally remotely now some businesses again have already been doing that mm. so how are they doing that what are they doing how do those people feel like they're part of the organization 